everybody. 47 Mark Four here, back with another episode of Skyopolis 4. All right, lots to get done today. Uh, I want to do the updates, and then let's jump into building some stuff. So first update is the pack is updated. Uh, and it's a pretty big update, as in there's a lot of changes. But the big stuff I saw was we got three new mods. We got RF tools, or a little piece of RF tools. We got power, and we got XNet. And so those are really going to help. I can't wait to get into them. Uh, other big changes that uh, that came through, let's see. Uh, Snad works in the cloches along with all the Pam seeds. So that was kind of a big one. And it looks like uh, mob generation has changed a little bit. Let's, uh, let's go down to the mob farm here. So down here, uh, let's see, I've got my dump chest engaged right now, but I, I let the mob farm run for a while to see, you know, how full things would get. And in the time that it got to here, in this chest arrangement, it should have filled these twice. So it's been, uh, it's been going pretty good. And something in the mob farm is giving me red hearts. So I've got 74 red hearts. I've got, uh, I actually got my heart necklace here, and I was able to do the first two levels, so... Oh, loud, 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 loud. Excuse us. All right, let's head back upstairs. So I think while I'm thinking of it, we're going to take off the pendant and we're going to put that on. Look, I got green and yellow hearts. How awesome is that? <laughs> so it, uh, yeah, slight changes there, but at least we're able to get the red hearts. I'm assuming that's uh, bats or chickens that, you know, zombies are riding that are giving me the hearts. I don't, I'm just not sure why they're coming out of the mob farm. All right, I think that's the big stuff. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, quest book. Yeah, quest book. So I know I saw magic, right? It's a little bit more filled out with stuff to do. And I went already ahead and checked off the stuff that we've already done. I do have to get over here, but I, I, I'm blocked at the moment. Uh, let's see. I don't think these quests are that much different. Yeah, here's power right here. And we're a ways away from getting power. Uh, let's see, basic reactor. So we got to get a reactor. We got to get this stuff. I, I don't even know where. Oh, there's a steel casing, which we got to put in the mechanical crafter. We've got to get this stuff like blah, 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 blah. We, we got some stuff to do to get there, right? All right. So uh, anything else? I think there was a little change here, right? Like there's the flame orang and there's some ender star blocks, stuff like that. Uh, the quantum stuff, maybe that was there before. And I know that there's some new singularities that we've got to get, like... The mob one, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to go through them all, but that's kind of where we are. All right, so updates around the base. You can see that I've doubled up this stuff, and even though I can put this in the cloche, I'm really digging these things to uh, rotating around. And this stuff over here, and you can see I doubled it up. Oh, and I got rid of the cactus farm that was here. We don't need the cactus farm anymore. I get bones out of the uh, mob farm, so I don't need to convert the cactus for bone meal. And uh, we go cactus inside the cloches. But this thing is going like crazy. Holy cow, I'm, I'm sending wood down through this blast, you know, thingy. And uh, let's see if I can show it to you right here. So I've got 52,000 spruce logs and 67,000 charcoal. Like, uh, charcoal power is not a problem anymore. <laughs> so we're pretty good there. And then out here in the Batania area... Uh, a little expansion has been done. So I mirrored what we already have. I doubled it up because, again, we got all kinds of blocks of charcoal. Might as well use them. Oh, and the other thing. I'm going to take this stuff down here. So don't be surprised you come back next episode and the water mills are gone because this is 88 RF a tick. And I measured these guys over here. And I forget, it's either 41 or 42 RF a tick. So two of these is a water mill. So that right there is a water mill plus this one. I bet you this five right here is both water mills and the windmill. So might as well take down all this rotating stuff and re, you know reclaim the space. So, and I'm going to put up more things. Oh, and this is my guard cat over here, security guard cat, because the wires keep missing. I'll come out here and all of a sudden the wires are gone. And I'm going to guess that it's phantoms coming swinging low when I'm working in the area and clipping the wires. Like, I did the math. There isn't enough power out here to burn up the wires. So I'm a little mystified. That's why I put security guard cat out here to uh, watch the situation. All right, so what I want to do today, I want to get through more of Batania. Uh, there's good stuff, and it's not that far away, and we can get it, like, now. So let's go do some of this stuff. So let's see. Let's take this stuff right here, and I want to go get uh, the terrestrial agglomeration plate, which is one of those, one of these, one of those, one of these, one of those. And let's get, uh, let's get 
terrestrial. So terrestrial agglomeration plate is all of this junk, and we should have it. Yes, we do. I'd show it to you in the book, but, well, I'll show you the book. Uh, you know, I've had this problem. Let's see, backpack. I've had this problem with the, uh, with the manual here, with the tome, before. If I say, like, terrestrial, uh, oops, if I spell it right, terrestrial, or terrestrial, Right, nothing comes up. It's weird, but I know how to do this stuff anyway. So whatever. Right, we don't we don't need that. That I say that until everything blows up. All right. So going up to our new level, right up here. This is just for. Er, I said this is just for the terrestrial agglomeration plate. I was wondering. I could hear that guy. I didn't know where he was. So let's see. I've got this. I've got, oh, oh, and use my lapis blocks for my inventory. Okay, there we go. I was like, wait, I don't have enough. And I know because I've got five that these guys go in the corners. And then uh, we're going to get uh, lapis, right? Lapis, 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 lapis. And then you go in the middle and this thing goes on top. So it goes on top of the opposite color, right? So that should be, that should be the terrestrial agglomeration plate. Oh, we're going to need, I think we're going to need our wand. Excuse me. Oh, I'll take those bricks too. All right, so let's see. We're gonna have to drop stuff. Oh, we need a, uh, we need a power, right? Ah, there we go. So I believe if I drop one of each one of those, right? Ah, Terra Steel. And because we've got so much mana below us, like we can rip out Terra Steel here. Uh, do I want to go crazy? Do I do I want to do it? Uh, I don't know if I got those on the plate. Yeah, I didn't get them on the plate. I think I got to do them one at a time. Let's try again. I don't actually know if I can do them a bunch at a time. Uh, uh, did something come back in my inventory? Yep. All right, we'll do them one at a time. No problem, right? It's easier if you click them on anyways. Oh man, oh, you know what it is? Oh, I didn't even think about it. I haven't demagnetized this place. All right, so right there we'll get, uh, let's get a couple of pieces of terra steel. We're gonna need, I don't know, we're gonna need at least three. Right, but I'd like more. Man, I love making Terra Steel this fast. Holy cow, it's good to have the manas. All right, let's go downstairs and see what that did to the pools here. Uh, surprisingly, not bad. Surprisingly, not bad at all. So, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's not run out of mana. Let's go ahead and turn these guys back on and get that done. Okay, terrestrial agglomeration done. So next, uh, next, let's get, let's get cleaned up. So this stuff, that stuff, get rid of this, that, and put this in the backpack. There we go. And we'll chuck these guys in here for the moment. Very cool. So next thing, and where is it? Right over here. So we need to get the portal to Alfheim. And we're missing blocks here. So the uh, Alfheim portal, there is a, oh, what is it called? All right, it took a minute of looking. I remember now. So we need a core. We need a Elven Gateway core. Right, this thing right here, and that's why we needed some terra steel. So we need we need some nugs here of terra steel, and then let's craft up this gateway core. And boy, I don't feel like I've got enough living wood on me. Right, I'm gonna need twelve altogether. No, I do, I do. I've got enough. Okay, so this is gonna need a little bit of mana, and not really, not that much. But let's uh, let's stick it right here, and so it's gonna be living wood, living wood, and then it's gonna be the core. And then we'll go living wood, living wood, glimmering, glimmering, right? Regular living wood, regular living wood. Uh, oops, a, uh, I was going to say a placeholder block, like making a nether portal, right? So placeholder block, regular, uh, and then glimmering, and then regular. I think that's it right there, right? And then we're going to need, where's my stuff? Let's walk over all the things. Uh, oh, right here, some pylons. Are they mana pylons? Is that the thing? Uh, let's see, uses on you. No, your Natura pylons, right? So we needed some more nuggets and we need Eyes of Ender. I think I've got Eyes of Ender, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's make a couple anyway. So pylon, right here, right there. Uh, you know what? Let's make a stack. There we go. <laughs> no sense messing around with it, right? Let's get these guys, throw that in there, throw that in there, take out two of these. And I remember that these guys can live in the same space as a spark. Uh, not like that. They go over the pools, right? Why won't you, uh, why don't you want to sit down, right? Is it, is it, is it the sparks? No, it can't be. 
It can't be. Right? Huh. That, that's weird. Okay, hold on. All right, literally the very next try they set on the pools. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's come over here. Okay, open up the core. Right? There goes some magic. These guys are close enough to each other. Very cool. All right, I want to try something here. Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling too good about this, the Akashic Tome throwing it through the pool, but let's see what happens. Did we... Okay, I was I got scared. I'm like, did we not get it back? And it's still... Okay, it's still the book. It's still the book. Uh, but now it's the fancier version. Now, we'll, do you have... Yeah, I still get loading errors. Okay, uh, whatever, as long as it's the fancy version. Now, I'm going to need some stuff out of the portal. I don't have, you know, tons and tons of needs, but there is some good stuff. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I found what I was looking for. I found it. We're going to need... We're going to need some of this, right? We're going to need some of these guys, and... I need to make you pink. Throw those in there. Don't you come on back out. Uh, isn't that how we get trades? Right? Uses on you. You go into the thing. Oh, oh, it's double. It's double. Right? Okay. There's one. I threw you more. There they are. Okay. I was like, you're being cheap on me. So let's see. Where is the crafting table? It is over here. So I should be able to use these guys, right? And get the extrapolated bucket. And I'll show you, the extrapolated bucket is good for tearing stuff down. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves a bucket of water. And then the extrapolated bucket, boop! Just, well, this is an infinite source, but it destroys water sources. Right? That's what the bucket's good for. All right. Very cool. I'm going to need that to help take that thing down. Uh, let's see. You go in the backpack. You go in the backpack. Let's take the Terra Steel that we've got, and let's upgrade. Right? So this ring, Terra Steel, you become the greater band. Same thing, you know, I don't have enough magnet problems as it is. Let's make the magnet better. Oh, I love that. All right, and then we're going to need we're going to need some living wood. Uh, we're going to need some living wood. Did I put it in here? No, I put it in here for the uh, next process. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll get the other stuff. I'm not terribly, uh, you know, needing of other stuff. Like, uh, let's see, if I go to App Batania, let's see. It's all the pink stuff here, the Elementium, right? There's the bucket. We can get the sword. I guess I can get better shears. Uh, we can get a couple more lenses, slime in a bottle if we wanted one, better mana spreaders, which actually might be worth it. Uh, let's see, I can't get that yet because that's a Gaia Spirit. Uh, same thing with these guys over here, Pixie Dust, and right, it lets you get, uh, ooh, a Gaia Pylon. Uh, spark Augments, oh, I might need the Spark Augments. And then we're going to get uh, things like World Seeds are pretty, you know, I'm wondering about World Seeds. So there's good stuff there. All right. So, main project of the day here is I've got an idea, and uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's dump out as much as we can. I've got an idea to be able to get some stuffs. So, throw that there. We'll come over here. Let's get all this stuff. So, we've got the Orchid, and the Orchid makes ores, right? And so, let's stick this dude down here where he can get a bunch of the pools. And let's see if we can set up a system to be able to you know, turn ores. And we'll stick it, like, right over here because this guy's got a pretty good range. So let's see. I'm going to have a block placer. And, of course, you set backwards, right? So a block placer. And we're going to get a block breaker uh, right over there, right? Breaker, placer. And we're going to get an observer. And observer, do you set like this? Of course not. Of course not. Observer, you set like that, right? And this should be pretty easy. This is redstone and a repeater. And I'm pretty sure that I can get redstone to come out of this guy. And we'll repeat it uh, just so we have a chance for some signal strength. And then we'll send it, uh, yeah, we'll send it into the block placer. Right? The block placer? The block breaker? No, no, no. I want to go the other way around. I want to go the other way around. Hold on. This, this way. This way. We want to go this way. We want to get this. And we're going here. And there, 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 and there. Right? So when I get a signal, we'll put this on two ticks. Then it's going to, uh, then it's going to break. Do I have, uh, I got a piece of stone. Right? So I set you down. Woo! Just like that. Like, I got Osmium on my first try. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, man. All right. So we need to feed the block placer with lots of power. Let's see. Let's get, there is cable under the floor here somewhere. 
Yeah, yeah, let's export. Right, export cable and regular cable. Let's get this guy, uh, and then over here. So boom, boom, and boom. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, you know, I'm not sure now if I like this uh, set beyond the block thing. It messes me up more than anything else. Let's see, this, this, so. Stick you right in there, and we can put the floor back. Very cool. So now I'm able to send stone in here, and then this is gonna break it. All right, and let's get a chest to pick this stuff up. So for right now, I'm gonna pick it up with a diamond chest. And I guess it doesn't much matter. But we'll, uh, we'll stick the diamond chest right here. And for what I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a piece of cobblestone. Uh, we're gonna make a safety circuit here. And I'll show you what I mean here. So this thing, you may not pick up cobblestone. You're gonna be fed stone, you're gonna break things, blah, 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 right? And then what's gonna happen is, if I get, if I get cobblestone, that means I've run out of mana or something bad has happened, right? And so what I'm thinking, or what I've been thinking about how to, how to do this process, is if this happens, I'm gonna to want to try to, uh, I guess I don't need that there. I'm gonna to try to solve the problem. So if I get, uh, I'll, put the, I'll put the chest, I guess I'll put the chest right here. So we'll set this up. So I've got another one that only collects cobblestone. And if you get a piece of cobble, we'll measure it. We'll, re we'll send it out as a signal. I'll repeat it. Right, and then we'll go bot, bot, bot. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll go right there. I'll go right there. Right, that should work. And that should push this guy out of the way. And then, yeah, I think, I think so. Right, just like that. Piece of cobblestone. So if I run out of mana and the stone stops setting down and the breaker just breaks it and it's going like crazy, just breaking cobblestone, then it's going to move the breaker out of the way. And now it can't break anything. And I'm not gonna just waste every piece of cooked stone that I got. This is my safety circuit, right? And then I bring it back. Now this is gonna get changed to an ender chest, which is why I have it in my inventory, uh, to be able to put in the drawers and then we'll export from the drawers to the crusher. But I need a sample, so I'm gonna collect a drawer's worth of sample. So I think, I think this will work, right? Let's, uh, we're gonna have to do some fine tuning probably, but let's go ahead and get this. And uh, let's see, export uh, stone uh, right here. Are you? Yeah, your export, your export stone. Block placer. Did I click on that? Why is this not shifting in? Right, block placer. So block placer, please. Oh, wow. That was a little exciting. Oh, okay, something happened. I got cobblestone. All right, it looks like I do need to adjust timing. We might need to do a little bit of this action and play with some repeaters here uh, to get it just right. And I need a manual reset button. Let's see, so you, right there. That was working for a second. All right, so cancel everything I've said to you. <laughs> this thing is just too twitchy, this block breaker. It just doesn't want to respond really nicely to redstone signals. Like you give it a, a couple of ticks worth of redstone and it just goes crazy. Brrr, and it goes faster than this can get transformed by this, which is pretty quick. But you know what? We can do this another way. So I moved my safety circuit. We still have the same safety circuit, right? Still have a, uh, a piston to push the block breaker out of the way when we start making cobblestone. And we've got this block here and I'll show you. So this is just a redstone timer. So we can stick that there. And there we go. Oh, I turned off the noise that it makes when it transforms an ore. So we can turn this down, right, faster. Faster is good. Faster is good. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, arrow keys. So I'm down to every two ticks, one tick. Ah, uh, yeah, babies. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's going faster than this thing can feed it. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's get an upgrade here. Let's get stack, right? Stack usually solves a lot of problems. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Make me an ore a tick. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it so much. Look at my chest fill up. Oh, man. Well, now we're going to get... 
Where's the osmium? Yeah, we're getting osmium ore. Oh, this is so good. Okay, all right. Cool. I, I just want this to chill for a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll come back and check it out. All right, so I'm going to change plans here. I wanted to do another Britannia thing, but I think I'm pretty happy with this thing right here, that this is going to go like crazy when we, uh, when we let it. I was hoping this guy would work with a redstone signal, but apparently it does not. So let me just take that out, and there, just, just, it's just, it's too much. I just can't, I can't even. Hey, can I, uh, oh, where did that red lever go? If I do that, well, that works. Okay, there we go. I wanted an off switch so the thing wasn't all twitchy. All right, let's look into the quest book, and let's get a couple of quest book quests done real fast. So over here, we've got the Nautilus shell. Nautilus shell is three mana powder, a sand, and a flint. So we can do that, right? We can get our mana powder, one, two, uh, one, two, three, and sand, and a flint, right? And uh, what, do I, do I need a block of living rock for this? Is that gonna follow that thing? Let's bring some with us just to see what happens. So right over here, uh, I got four, and I'm pretty sure I said three, right? You and you. And where did the plank come from? Where did the plank come from? Hold on. Plank. Plank. There we go. Okay. Must have been from construction, right? That I've got some of the stuff left over. All right. One, two, three. There we go. And yes, I was right. Okay. It does. It does need one of those. One of these. Oh, is my super magnet too super? All right. We're going to have to take care of this. Does it not want one? Can I, can I just do the thing? Right? Oh, tiny potato. I moved tiny potato up there. That's what was going on. I had to have a place to put him. All right. So that is a Nautilus shell. So that completes a quest for us. Yes. And then we can get the heart of the sea, which is this in the alchemy catalyst. All right. Alchemy catalyst is up. So we'll throw you in there. We got the heart of the sea. Why do I need the heart of a sea in a sky block? That I'm not sure about. The heart of diamond... So it looks like we need two diamond ingots, which is a diamond gear cooked in the arc furnace. And a diamond gear is four diamonds with the diamond press. Well, that's easy enough. Let's go get, uh, let's go get some diamonds here, right? One, two, three, four. And we'll run over to this guy and we'll change out the die, which is probably right here, right? And I'm gonna need an empty hand and we'll take this one off. We'll put that one on. We'll dump uh, four diamonds on the belt here. There you go. Done. Give me the gear. Thank you. And then we'll run it over to this guy. And we'll throw you in here. Cook it right on up. Right? Seems to be going fairly speedy. Pour you right on out. All right. Thank you. And we got four of these guys. Okay. And then let me, let me look back here. So, whoa. Oh, I see nastiness coming up. So those two in the green water gives me a heart of diamond. All right. Green water time it is. Excuse me, security guard coming through. You don't need to check my ID. So the green water is this one right here. All right, you two and you, right? There's the heart of diamond. And so we'll check that one off. Oh, reward chest, reward chest. Hold on, reward chest. what do we get? Elevators, yeah, I love elevators. All right, and then this will get us the pickerang. So the pickerang is a diamond pick in this. Now I've got some diamond picks that, uh, will a diamond pick with NBT work? Is this a thing? It does work. Oh, I took him out of the mob farm. All right, and then we got the pickerang. So it's a weapon, it's a boomerang, it's a friend, right? It's a pickaxe. Mmm, I can destroy half the base with this thing. Very cool. All right, I wanna get, I wanna get one more thing. So let's see, that takes care of this section. So I gotta work on some runes. And it looks like gas tears can be made on the altar. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that when we have more runes. All right, so the thing I wanna move on to is over here, I wanna get an induction smelter. And it just doesn't seem that hard. We just need some invar gears. So let's get some invar, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And let's run over to the press. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that if I put them in there, that's not going to work. Yeah, the item hopper does not like to deal with anything less or anything more than one. And then I can put you on there and I can put this back while I'm thinking about it. There's my two Invar gears. All right, so let's get an induction smelter in. Induction. 
uh, right here, induction furnace, I guess. So you're gonna be, oh man, it's one of these. We need a wooden one. We need a stone one. And for some reason, cobblestone doesn't read. All right, we need a cobblestone one, uh, induction. So let's see, then we're gonna need a blasting one. And now we're gonna need a redstone coil. Oh yes, it's all coming back to me. There we go. Now that we got an induction smelter, the reason I wanted to get an induction smelter is because induction smelter takes you to enchanting. And enchanting is three different bars which can be used to increase enchantment levels, variation and increase chances of rarer enchantments. And so what does it take to do this? This is eight obsidian, a diamond, and a book. Like, like it just it just couldn't be that hard. Uh, let's uh, let's get our let's get our tool o kit, right? And we'll we'll just hook this guy up for a second. So let's get our obsidian. I remember it was obsidian. I remember I saw a diamond, and uh, I remember that I can't remember enchantment. Uh, enchantment table. Right here, right there, and it was, oh yeah, four books, okay. So we just need books. Uh, oh, I got two. All right, let's make two more. And we'll take those, we'll take these. Let's, uh, yeah, let's stick this in here and you will accept HV power because I've told you that you can, right? You are totally taking it, okay. So you, you, and you, and you can, uh, yeah, you, oh yeah, you're totally doing it, okay. Uh, we're gonna make the other machines, but this is what I wanted to be able to play with, to be able to look at enchants. Ah, oh, we finally got an enchanting table. Oh, that's so good. And it came with a reward chest. So let's check out the reward chest uh, right here. Oh, TNT, obsidian TNT, and a grenade. Uh, I'm probably the wrong person for you to give TNT to. I'm just saying, I am gonna have to blow something up. All right, we'll take all that with us. All right, so I think that's a good spot to stop for today. We can make more machines from thermal, but I really wanted to get the enchanting table so I can set up an enchanting area and try out things like pylons and pumpkins and all the other things that are supposed to increase the stats and learn about it. So I'm calling it here for today. So I'm 47 Mark 4 and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, hit that like button and then I will see you in the next episode.